Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from Macho Man's Ghost, titled, You owe me free food because I did my job. I'm a motor coach operator, charter bus driver. I brought a group of 52 people to this restaurant. I asked the manager, Ryan, if they compliment the driver's meal who bring in these large groups of people. And he told me that because of the discounted meals that the group had already gotten, they couldn't comp my meal. This is absolutely ridiculous. I've driven all over and on most occasions, one free meal versus 52 paid meals is still a profit. This is just a minute complaint. I shall take this further and higher. So let me get this straight. You chose to be a charter bus driver, so you expect because you take people to restaurants that you should get a free meal for bringing those people? <laughs> the world does not work that way. This next one is by Wolfmang Puck, titled, Trying to exchange something you didn't even pay for. Hi there, we put extra stickers in every order. They are freebies, so you were not charged for them. Oh, okay. The thing is, I won't use these stickers. Can I send them back and pick different? I'm so sorry you don't like them. Unfortunately, it wouldn't be cost effective for you or me to send them back and mail out new ones. These are just my little way to say thank you for shopping with me. Again, I apologize that you aren't happy with them. So, that's a no? That's bad customer service. You should ask customers what stickers they want rather than sending whatever you feel like. Shaking my head. This beggar gives the meaning to beggars can't be choosers. They got something for free and it still wasn't good enough. They think they can take a pick of the freebie they get. This next one is from ZackyD00 titled, The Free Demo Doesn't Even Have Ads. Can only play one chapter, then have to buy the game? Why? Please make it so that the whole game is free. Hello, we're sorry that you're disappointed by this system. We've chosen to make the first chapter free to all so that players can get a first impression of the game before buying it. Have a nice day. Give them a taste and they want the whole thing. Typical choosing beggars, the demo's not good enough, they expect the free game. This next one is by TheBestFU7YJDHT titled, A girl just trying to sell a pony for $200 asked to drive it over three hours away. Hi there, are you able to get your pony to Beggarsville tomorrow? If you can, I will take her. No. Bugger, I don't even know of anyone heading out or back from there. I've really fallen for your pony. There's plenty of transport companies. Are you willing to give her away then to cover transport costs as I only have a certain amount of money? No. My guess is this beggar would spend all their money on the transport cost and then probably ask for free food and everything else they need to take care of the pony too. This next one is from Dr. Luffy titled, One hour of texting equals home delivery? Asked by popular demand to post this on here. And I have no food here. And if offered anything I want, I wouldn't know what to say. I wouldn't know what to say in any context either, so I hear you on that. Well, first of all, Grubhub, Uber Eats, or DoorDash for sure. I tend to go for fast food and desserts when I'm feeling depressed. McDonald's and Wendy's being the MVPs. <laughs> I don't buy food. What do you mean? You grow it then? Nope. Have others buy it for me. You pay for everything. Guys can get spoiled too. Not financially. Ugh, we definitely disagree on that. We're all just people at the end of the day. I definitely love to spoil my significant other, but I always love when things are reciprocal. Then perhaps I'm not for you. Guys pay for everything, or I'm out. Then I wish you well. I'm looking for a more modern and equal partnership. Funny thing is, I usually do pay for everything but not because it's an agreement. That just sounds strange to me. Sorry, not how I was raised. How you were raised and how you choose to modernize yourself are two completely different things. If you want somebody to pay for everything, then go find someone, go get yourself a sugar daddy, sugar mommy, whatever you're looking for. 
This next one is by Lots of Cheese Please, titled, Hey, can I steal your art for seven bucks? Hello, can I post your artwork? I always ask artists to pay seven dollars for publication. Is it possible for you? Can I do a payment in DN? What's DN? D's nuts. <laughs> I love that. I, I just, I absolutely love that. I might have to use it in the future. That's how good it is. This next one is from Colt4587, titled, Choosing Beggar Wants $5 Fruit Basket Discounted Because It's Not the Color She Wants, then claims she never wanted a fruit basket when called out. Does the fruit bowl come with the plastic fruit, or do I have to search Amazon for my phone? Can you also spray paint the fruit bowl white to match my kitchen? I'm looking for white only. It doesn't include fruit, but I'm sure you could paint it. Can I get a discount because I have to spray paint? Because if it was white, I wouldn't have to paint it. So now I have to run out to Lowe's or Walmart or maybe even Home Depot to see if they have the white matte spray paint. I don't want the shiny. I want the matte white spray paint. As for the fruit, I'm okay. I don't necessarily have to put it, but for the color, it has to match my kitchen because the color that you have doesn't match my kitchen. So if you don't have another color, then, or if you're not going to spray paint it before I pick it up, then yeah, I'm just not going to be able to purchase it from you. Yeah, I would just buy a white one. Safe to say I can't get a discount on appointment you have? Because I don't mind getting the spring break because I will just let me know what the discount is so then I can weigh out my options. If I wasn't by yours or if I just want to buy one that's already, why you know what I mean so yeah, just let me know so that way I can make a decision, solid decision. Please don't make this harder than it has been for me. I'm selling it for $5. I'm not going lower. It's not my fault you need a white one. I'm not lowering it for you or painting it for you. Just get it on Amazon. Well, I guess that's pretty easy then. There's no decisions for me to make it here. I guess I'll see if I can find it on Amazon because, I mean, I was thinking $1.50, maybe $1.75 because I'm thinking the spray paint, it is probably $3.95. So $3.95 plus $1.50 is what? How much is that? That's almost $5. I don't care about the cost of the spray paint. I'm selling it for $5. I'm not going to discount. Paint off of it. You can't spend $7 to $10 total on a fruit basket. Maybe don't buy one. A fruit basket? Who's talking about a fruit basket? I'm talking about the geometric hate plant hangers for my new plants. I just got the ones that you have posted. You don't even know what you have posted. I'm not talking about a fruit basket. I don't need a fruit basket. I'm allergic to fruit. Sins pig. Look lady, you clearly wanted the fruit basket. Trying to say you didn't just makes you look pretty dumb. Pay the $5 or don't. Go find it elsewhere. Complaining isn't going to get what you want. This next one is by Get I See You titled, She wanted to take her two-year-old daughter to a Marilyn Manson concert. I'm so grateful for the cash we have received for Ari to see Marilyn Manson. But to see that no one has done anything on my GoFundMe is just frustrating. Why the fuck are you guys so fucking selfish? Ariel's photos get likes, people comment on how cute she is, but not one of you has made an effort to make this happen for her. This shit isn't even for me really. I've seen him five times. This shit is for Ariel. Humans, selfish, self-righteous jerk-offs. Yeah, I'm an asshole, but I help people when I can. Y'all are lame. God damn it, fucking people. I'm taking her with or without anyone's help. Because a two-year-old really gives a damn to see Marilyn Manson perform live in concert. I think it's more for you, mama. And I think you're butt hurt because people don't want to pay your way. This next one is from 4Hex titled, Mad at her uncle for taking her grandma's car because when he does, she can't be driven around. I'm also fed up with my uncle who's taking advantage of his parents. 
I don't ask for much, but whenever I need them to drive me somewhere, guess who has the car? Him. But guess what? He loves to buy takeout and new phones, but never for his mother or his father. He can buy a brand new phone for a thousand plus, but can't buy a car? Hmm. <laughs> I see where your priorities lay. Instead of saving up money to move out, you simply spend it without care. It's going on five years and you'd think something would have happened by now. Oh, and he doesn't pay his mother rent. He's like 50. Pathetic. Oh, and thank you for ruining the chances of me ever moving back and saving money. Cheers. So let me get this straight, beggar. You're mad because they use the car and because they spend money that they most likely work for and earn on things for themselves? So what if they're living with their parents? A lot of people, thanks to COVID, ended up having to move back home because, well, <laughs> rent and jobs just were non-existent. Our next one is by Silvio, titled, Guy looking for a job on Craigslist is extremely particular about what he wants. I'm looking for an easy, low-pressure, full-time job. I'm a young professional in search of an easy job. I want to find a full-time position, not fast-paced and not commission-based. I have an eye for detail, and I like to take my time with everything I do. However, I can bust some stuff out quick if I'm in the zone. I have many talents, and I'm physically fit, but I do not wish to find a very physical job. I have strong customer service and some sales experience and I can be a very personable when I choose to. I can work as part of a team or individually, but I prefer to be left alone. I have a lot of energy and I have a hard time sitting still. I like to think out problems and creative solutions to them. It is important to me that the people I work for are good people with a conscience. Lastly, I need to make annually over $46,000. So you're looking to pretty much do nothing. Easy job, low pressure, full time, non-physical, and you want 46,000 a year? <laughs> Good luck with that, honestly. This next one is from Mr. Wake, titled Local Selling, but am the asshole for it. Forex Kids BMX Bikes, 40 pounds. Hi, is this still available? In delivery to Dewsbury? Ravensthorpe. You're about two miles away, love. <laughs> okay, fuck you. Fuck you. Would you deliver four old bikes to the other side of the country? Postage. Fuck you, dumb asshole. Sure, you can hire a van and driver to collect them if you want to pay and organize that. Okay, beggar, let me educate you. If there's four bikes and they're 40 pounds total, that means each bike is 10 pounds apiece. Even if you drove the 200 miles to pick them up, I guarantee in the petrol you spend, you'll still save than buying those bikes new. This next one is by Curly FG FG FHYU titled, If camera just go click, why don't he make camera go click? I was just wondering how much it is to get my pictures done for my birthday with a few friends. Hey, my basic two hour package is $200. Who is this? Don't text me ever again. Huh? Okay, but didn't you ask about photos for a birthday party? I don't want them no more. You want hella money for some damn pictures. All you do with the camera is go click. Yeah, they go click, then they have to edit the images, process them, do whatever they need to do to get the images that you want delivered to you. So it's a little more work than just a click. I guess you don't need the pictures. And our final one is from Cozy Up, titled, This guy has had it with choosing beggars. Photographer looking for people to do their job for free. Chicago. I am a photographer, and since people are always looking for free shoots, I assume that they must also do their job or provide their services for free. I am looking to hire all types of people to do all sorts of jobs for me, as long as I do not have to pay anything. Just think, you'll gain more experience, and I'll put the word out for you and let everyone know what wonderful work you do. This opportunity will bring you a ton of unpaid work, but everyone will love you. So if you have a job or service you provide and will do it for free, please let me know because I'm sure I have work for you and will hire you in a second. Feel free to email me with the service you can provide, when you can start, and please include references. 
I look forward to your free service. If you get technical, this is pretty much how beggars are. That's their mindset. They want everything for free. They don't want to have to do anything. They'll happily offer exposure, but I think in the end, we all know, even if someone bit and took the exposure out, the beggar would offer as little exposure as possible. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.